The guy behind those Meryl Streep posters is coming forward today. His name is Sabo. He's a controversial street artist known for skewering liberals. He says the posters were payback for Streep speaking out against President Trump. It really bothers me what's going on behind me because it got tore down in less than a day. I thought liberals loved art and it should never be censored. Sabo made a name for himself during last year's presidential election by putting up hard-hitting posters blasting Hillary Clinton. Just last month, he targeted Senator Al Franken with this giant billboard. We take you to the location, you jump out, I park the Jeep. Here's how Sable operates. But, you know, he goes I, I out in the dead of night them, and pastes you know. his posters on public um, utility boxes in strategic if, if locations. Anyway. He put the street posters up near her home in Pasadena and near the headquarters of the Screen Actors Guild. Why single out Meryl Streep of all the people who might have known about Harvey Weinstein? Why not her? If anything, uh, she's a very powerful person in Hollywood. And people like that, their feet need to be held to the fire. You're saying that she knew. I mean, what evidence do you have that she knew? It's not a huge leap for me, especially when you consider a vast majority of Hollywood knew it was a dirty secret with Harvey Weinstein. He's going after Streep again today with this fake poster for her new movie, The Post. Meryl Streep is saying, I knew, and Tom Hanks is saying, we all knew. But again, you lobbed this allegation against her, and it's a pretty strong thing to say that she knew about these sexual assaults. Okay, so what you're, what you're implying is I shouldn't have done this because all day long she's saying she didn't knew. Well, by that standard, we should leave Donald Trump alone because he says the same thing. He says he's completely innocent. So why do people keep going after him?